The world of work is changing rapidly. To keep up, Australia needs a larger and more highly skilled workforce. The 2013 National Workforce Development Strategy, Future Focus, looks at how Australia can build the workforce it will need in coming years. The real aim is to say, look, if we go out, say, 15 years, what is the workforce of the future? What is it going to look like? And then what do we need to do to actually prepare for it? Australia can't be complacent about its strong economy. Industry, government and individuals need to adapt. We're facing a workforce that has a lot more demands on it, given the, the structural changes that are occurring in the Australian and world economy. Technology, the growth of the Asian century, all these issues are changing about the pressures on our economy, we have to be more competitive, and it's changing the nature of work. In the years to 2025, industry will demand a workforce of 14 to 15 million people, compared to today's workforce of 11.6 million. These people will be more highly skilled than they are today. So for example, today, 60% of people in the workforce have some form of post-school qualification. By 2025, almost 70% of the workforce will have some form of post-school qualification. More people will need to gain qualifications to keep up with future demand. And more support will be needed to help lower skilled and disadvantaged people develop their skills encouraging those who are not presently working to enter or return to the workforce will also be important. The older people in the workforce, women between the ages of 25 and 34, where typically they are leaving to have a family, targeting those areas, it's very important that we get them into the workforce. The role of industry and employers in using and developing skills is crucial. The research suggests that something like 30% of the skills of our workforce are underutilised in the workforce. So this is a huge drag on productivity and it's a big potential gap we can actually fill. Employers need to be much smarter and understand the skills of their workforce. Workers will need to be flexible and adapt to change. The strategy calls for career advice services to assist people throughout their working lives. The three key growth sectors will be health and social care, technical and scientific and professional areas, as well as the education and training area. Training, taking on new skills has to be a part of life, just part of the habit uh, that we need to acquire as a country, and we need to acquire it pretty fast. The Australian Workforce and Productivity Agency developed the Future Focus Strategy. Visit orpa.gov.au to read the strategy or share your views on how Australia can build a workforce for the future.